here we have two pendulums. On the front we have a two-stage oscillator. Now it's set up a little bit differently than normal, but it's essentially the same thing. And on the back we just have a simple pendulum. And in the middle we have a sprocket for no reason. So what I'd like to illustrate is a new way of setting up a two-stage oscillator that's simpler. So what we do is we take this setup and we actually make it backwards now. Let me demonstrate. So it's hard to understand without the first demonstration. And that's the purpose of this thing on the front, is that you can understand that when this gets going fast enough, this weight stays out the maximum amount and it pulls on the spring. So it doesn't need to slide. So we can actually set up a fixed pendulum and it'll pull down like that as long as it's going fast enough. Now the slider helps you understand, um, sorry that was a bit out of frame. The slider helps you understand that this thing would go in if it didn't have enough centrifugal force and gravity behind it. But if this is going fast enough, there's enough force on this pendulum that it doesn't actually have to move because the centrifugal force is this way and it's pulling it this way. So if the force is great enough, it will pull down on this without it slowing down. So what you can do is you can have a sprag like this of a transmission and instead of a spring, you can put a linkage rod something like that, so that every time this goes down, you get a little bit of rotation. Okay? So the energy comes really from centrifugal force. And you get four times the centrifugal force if you double the speed. So what you can do is you can lay this whole thing on the flat and set this up so every time it comes around it pulls on this rod and as long as this is going fast enough you'll have over unity because well Milkovic goes on and on about oscillations. And he says oscillations are more efficient than rotations. And that's because he doesn't know what he's talking about and he can't do math. The energy comes from centrifugal force. So an object is moving and it's inertial, it has inertia and the direction is this way. So if you want to pull it exactly 90 degrees from that, and it won't slow it down. It'll only change the direction, but if it's going fast enough, it won't even change the direction. So it's better to take something like this, 
turn it on its side, you run it at two, three, four, five hundred, a thousand, two thousand RPM. And that way you can get usable power rather than having something uh, that doesn't make hardly any usable power because it's a pendulum. It's always stopping and starting. So hopefully that makes sense. That you can have just a basic pendulum and you just put a load on it so it doesn't really pull on the load until it's 90 degrees. See that? See, if we start pulling on the load up here, it would slow it down, you see? But the closer you are to 90 degrees, the less slowing down there is, right? Given it's moving fast enough. 